As is the case every Thursday at this time, we welcome in Eric Raditz from Florida Weekly live into the show right now. Eric, thank you very much for coming on. Good to be here. How's it going? Going very well. We'll start with a celebration of what makes Southwest Florida so special. What are the Flamingos? The Flamingos are a is an award that we award to the best people, places, and things of Southwest Florida annually. And we uh, are usually, this is our most read pub publication of the entire year, our biggest publication of the entire year. So if you've never picked up Florida Weekly ever, this would be the one to pick up and start reading. Uh, not only do we cover kind of the best places that we always think of asking, places to wine, places to dine, best places to beach and boat, but we also bring you interesting items like the best Florida man ever, the best uh, place to party, the best parking lot, and the best way to get married, the best paint job, and others. Uh, this is our best read Florida Weekly, so pick one up and find out why. No shortage of submissions there. Uh, switching over to businesses, you know, this is something we've been talking about since the pandemic started, just the financial stress and worries. So what can you tell us about that? Well, what we're hearing and what we still see is there are those who are concerned. Uh, the pandemic has really kind of exacerbated a lot of financial concerns for small businesses. How are we now uh, at planning as we look to the future? We have a few tips to keep in mind to firm up our business's future today. So Kyla, I'm not sure that you know how Eric and I actually met. It was before we started doing these interviews on NBC2. I was doing sports and I went to this film club and Eric was hosting the meeting. So that was the first time I ever saw him. Then we came on Florida Weekly and we realized uh, you know, what else Eric does. But over a decade ago, Eric, you founded the Fort Myers Film Festival. Oh my this God. year you have 60 films it's really grown a lot during the time that you've been working with it. Just explain how excited you are for this year's film festival. I could go on and on just how excited I am, Nate, and I hope to see you out as well to see some films. Yeah, it's been 10 years, and this week, uh, Florida Weekly takes a look at what those 10 years has meant, what to expect, and Bob Massey does a great way uh, in explaining just exactly just the who, what's, when, where, why's, how to get tickets. I will say that I have had, never had this much excitement from other filmmakers coming in from all over the world. I usually am most excited about Sundance Film Festival, which I didn't go this year. I'm more excited about the Fort Myers Film Festival this year. So uh, between the, the films, the people coming in, the broad measure of subjects, um, everything in between, a place to party downtown, uh, this is going to be uh, one for the books. And if you love film festivals and you don't feel like traveling to one, you have one right here in your own backyard in Southwest Florida, uh, May 12th through 16th, downtown Fort Myers and all around Southwest Florida. Looking forward to that. And as we head into the weekend, let's talk about things to do. Well, uh, if you're not into film festivals, there's also plenty to do. And Florida Weekly has a full calendar of other things that you might like to go, go check out. Uh, we have Bronx Tale and Robin Hood at Broadway Palm Dinner Theater. Uh, we have uh, Art Walk, which is happening Friday. Art exhibitions, jazz concerts, comedy tours, outdoor theater, and much more. Be sure to always pick us up online on stands and on your device for the coolest and most fun things to do in Southwest Florida. And that's fresh every week. And right here on NBC2, we appreciate all you guys do. Well, we appreciate you, Eric, and I'm excited to be there in person for the Fort Myers Film Festival next Wednesday. Thanks so much for coming on. We'll all see you right. next week.